Do you like movies, games, or music? Well, if you do, make sure you never use Metacritic to justify why you think something is of quality. It makes you look like a f***ing asshole. So the idea behind Metacritic is sound. Take the review scores from a bunch of different <clears throat> critics and average the scores out of 100 off to create a score that in theory should show the overall quality of the bit of media. These scores are split into three colour sections. If a film has a collective score of 0 to 40, it is red bad. 40 to 70 is yellow mediocre and anything above is green, which supposedly means it's good. I might be slightly off with the exact scores there, but you get the idea. Well, that sounds like a totally fair way of doing it. Okay, I'll give you that one, face. It does sound like a fair idea, but the way they average out the scores is total bull****. So I quote, from Wikipedia, mind you, so take this as you may. Metacritic's method of scoring converts each review into a percentage that the site decides itself, before taking a weighted average based on the critic's fame or stature. Okay, so let me get this straight. This is basically saying that if you're more famous or popular as a critic, your opinion is more important than others. Doesn't that completely defeat the purpose of averaging out the scores in the first place? Let's take a couple of examples. The Hobbit and Pain and Gain. I would personally argue that both of these are pretty good movies. And they have scores on Metacritic of 58 and 45 respectively. Now when I think of a score out of 10, usually something over a 7 is what I would deem as worth checking out. The Metacritic scores that these movies have indicates that they're not only flawed, but they're under average and just not very good. Now in the case of The Hobbit, it is mainly critics who were looking for the same calibre as Lord of the Rings and were not reviewing the film fairly by its own merits. And in the case of Pain and Gain, critics went in wanting to hate it purely because Michael Bay was the director. Sure, the Transformers films were terrible, but give some credit where credit is due for Christ's sake. This leads nicely into why I hate most critics. Some of them feel as if their opinion is above everyone else's and look down at people who enjoy the things that they don't. Here's a review from the Wall Street Journal of Pain and Gain, which he gave a zero out of 100. Michael Bay's absurdist comedy is all pain, no gain and an utter monstrosity. It may be the most unpleasant movie I've ever seen, and I'm not forgetting Freaks, which Pain and Gain resembles, come to think of it. Most unpleasant movie you've ever seen? Now for a movie critic, that's quite a statement, because you'd assume that you'd seen quite a few f***ing films. Okay, whatever, so maybe that's his opinion, fine. But a 0 out of 100 indicates to me that the film fails on every level including basic techniques of sound and video editing, plot, lighting, and cinematography. And no matter what you think of Pain and Gain, it's a competently put together movie. This shows that just about every critic has a different way of reviewing films, even if it is on the same 0 to 100 scale. So it begs the question of, is it even fair to round off the scores of all these critics in the first place, especially seeing as if they're all partially weighted on their fame or stature? My answer to that would be, no. I think that it's total bullshit. So I hate Metacritic, and a lot of the critics who are featured on it, but my ending point is this. Please don't use a Metacritic score as some kind of justification for why something is good, because quite simply, it isn't. It's just a worthless number that is rounding off a bunch of know-it-all opinions who watch Zero Dark Thirty every day of their lives. If you really do like something, some bullshit score on some bullshit website, including Rotten Tomatoes, which in some aspects is even worse than Metacritic, shouldn't change how you feel about a movie, game, or album. Anyway, so uh, Aquaman, what do you reckon your favourite movie is? Oh easy, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, okay, whatever. I respect your opinion. So let's have a look at the meta score then. What? Six 68? That's higher than... What? 100? A pop masterpiece? A historic achievement? Oh f*** this, I give up. Quick shout out to Cameo2177 who actually managed to find my gaming channel despite me not putting any links anywhere or anything. So, um, yeah, I did say uh, you win a prize or whatever, and I didn't actually think anyone would ever do this, so she won a shout out, which hopefully is a prize enough.